Bonjour amigos, welcome to The White Walker. I am your host today, Richard Walker, and I am joined today by my stunning co-host, Rebecca Walker. Say hello, Rebecca. <laughs> hello, Rebecca. Excellent. Now, we have a game for you today, Targaryen Assault from the Shadow, versus Martel Banner of the Rose. I mean, this is going to be a practice one, but I feel like we have to keep this now, please. Can oh, we? Oh. <laughs> Don't be mean. So, Targa Soul uh, by Warren Tegg and played by myself. And The Martel Rose is by Rob Wilkie and played by you, Richard. So, a quick little look at the bracket then. Um, on the left side, we have bracket one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we, oh. You are deleting the earlier bit, right? Well, I was doing the silly boys. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So on the left hand side, we have bracket one. Um, you can see the eight Swiss games um, from the eight different factions there. And we do have who won those games. So apologies if you've not watched them yet, but you are now on the third game of bracket two. So uh, you're obviously a little bit behind. Um, now on to bracket two, then as I say, um, we've seen the Lanny VS versus the Barra AAA. Uh, we've got the Greyjoy Fealty versus the Tyrell Dark Wings Dark Words. And as we said, this game is the Targ Assault versus Martel Rose. We've got one more Swiss game after this before we start showing the top eight games. Wonderful. Hmm. So shall we have a little look at the decks that are playing in this game? Okay. Yeah? Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. So let's start off with the Martel Rose deck then. Um, shall we run for the plots? Yeah. Yeah. So plot-wise then, um, uh, nice and straightforward, you've got At Prince Duran's Behest, um, pretty standard in a in a Martel deck, I guess. Especially running two Water Garden. Yeah, and you've got Duran's Game in there as well, so it's nice to get the extra plot in the used pile if you can. Three Rakasso. Mmm, yeah, definitely a deck that's trying to uh, leverage the intrigue, and you can see by the character icons as well, we do have a lot of intrigue in the deck. Um, other plots then, we also have uh, March to the Wall and Valador Hyrus for a bit of control on the board. Um, you win or you die for that double claim if needed. And then just to sort of help with a bit of a, um, a boost, you've got the At the Gates, Manning City Walls, and then Loan from the Iron Bank. So they all sort of help to boost the Martel players' board presence. Yeah, so a couple of interesting things with the plots then. Mm. So you have Manning the City Walls. Um, that was quite popular when it came out. I haven't seen it a lot recently. Um, but, of course, there are a couple of targets that you can put in here. There's quite a lot of non-uniques um, in the deck, but House Florent Knight is good, along with Host of the Boneway. Um, they can be good, given the right, you know, the right targets. Yeah. Uh, we have You Win or You Die, of course, a staple, but really good in Martel. Uh, that is running three summer seaports and three dawn to maximise the reserve that you can have. Mm -hmm. So that's also quite nice. Loan from the Iron Bank, a mid-game, you know, gold plot for when you expect perhaps your opponent to play a reset. So yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think it's quite a, a stable plot list. Um, mostly what you'd expect, maybe like Manning the City Walls is one that you m might not see as much. Um, in this kind of deck, but yeah, pretty solid, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and the icon spread is, I mean, obviously it's intrigue heavy, but it's it's relatively um, balanced, it's slightly fewer power icons, but I guess they're not too worried about that if they can get the Duran's game off. Yeah, not only that, you're able to run the core Red Viper now, who can accrue power um, ah, yes. on the really big intrigue challenges if necessary, so... Power challenges aren't the only way to win this game. Mm. We've also got the three fly, flea bottom there as the restricted card. Um, so, what do you think we will be using that flea bottom with? What kind of cards? Uh, definitely Hota. Mm -hmm. uh, three Dawnish Spy, Emissary of the High Tower also work in case your Duran game has been thrown away and uh, you want to be able to trigger its effect. So, Emissary of the High Tower also good. But, you know, a couple of things. Green Blood Trader still works. Dane Escort, you, you're just an option that you can marshal. Another good reason why marshal yeah. to the wall is in the deck. 
Is that a messenger? That so works with it, doesn't it? It does. Um, not only that, if you've got left or right in the discard and the opposite one on the board, you can flea bottom the other one in and get the benefit for the round. Mm. So that's nice. The one thing that I would say about the flea bottom, and correct me if I've um, missed something here, okay. is with flea bottom, normally you'd be running it when there's lots of ways to get your cards into the discard pile. Yeah. Whereas in this deck, um, unless I'm just going crazy, the only thing I can really see to put things in the discard pile is March to the Wall. Marched is a, a way to put them in the discard pile, yeah. The only other way, really, is possibly um, you win or you die when you discard to reserve. Yeah. Um, because it is a deck that's going to draw a lot. I feel like Win or Die is one, though, that you'd normally play as a closer. So generally, I feel like you probably wouldn't um, be expecting to still be playing at the end of a Win or Die plot. You know, if you're playing that, you're kind of playing to win, right? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I would also say is... Um, actually, yeah, I guess if you're drawing a lot, maybe you're having to discard cards for reserve. There are a lot of reserve booth. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that I find slightly um, <coughs> not fitting. Like, it's it's interesting. I mean, like, obviously there's some great characters to be flea bombed in. I just don't know that there's a consistent way to get things in the discard pile. Especially when your intrigue icons are so... Um, there's so many of them, they're so strong. You're not expecting to really lose intrigue challenges. So... It's not like they're going to randomly put cards in the discard for you. So you think that loan from the Iron Bank could be something like Fallen from Favour? Do lots of gold, but you also put something in the flea bottom pile. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Like I feel like that could um, could work. Although I guess that's more something we talk about in pros and cons at the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you've still got, you've got the Ariane, Obara, you know, switcheroo that you can do to yeah. get action advantage in the game. The Shrewd Diplomat... Um, also good. This is like a, a token banner of the rose uh, combination that is quite popular. Three left, three right, along with diplomats and Florent knights. Quite you know popular in Bower decks with banner of the rose mm. um, for these palace of sorrow, saving the kingdom. How Florent knight combination, but also the left right just to shore up your chud base and have some non kneeling defense along with the diplomat. Yeah, seem seem good. Okay. I don't think there's anything in the deck that I think that doesn't belong. I like the Prince's plan that can cover up any icon deficiency you have on the board and obviously get powerful as the game goes on. Ooh, sounds sounds uh, like it's well thought out. <laughs> Should we have a little look at the Targa's Salt deck then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's put that on the screen. So our Targa's Salt deck then, as we said, was from Warren Tegg. So we've got the Australians in on it. Australia, yeah. Yeah. Last time we had Alice there McDonald, this time we've got Warren Tate. <laughs> so we'll run through the plots then. Um, what we've got, so we've got Out the Gates, pretty standard. Uh, Late Summer Feast for that sort of, oh, actually there's loads of gold in this. Late Summer Feast and Loan from the Iron Bank. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're uh, after the gold. <laughs> yeah, well... Um, you have exchange of information in the first snow of winter, which are you know low goal plots. Mm. But also, the, you know there are eleven locations in the deck, and they're all economy. So it says that this deck needs its money. If you yeah. don't have money, it can't do what it's trying to do. And as you can see, it's not a regular targ assault from the shadow deck that you might find popular in the meta at the moment. I.e. Play marine and put all your cards into shadow, and then on turn five, destroy everything. There's a lot of attachments in this deck. There are. Yeah, it's a it's a Voltron Dario Naharis deck, as far as I can make out, with <laughs> a backup of Carol Drogo. I mean, either of them are fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess you've got the mercenary contracts there as a three of, um, to help the Dario. So. Yeah, you can either put that on Dario to restand him, or if your opponent has a juicy target with a few power on them. Uh, oh, it doesn't even run bribery. But you can Dario them for the round. <laughs> I was just thinking, where's the bribery? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can still Dario them for the round mm. and take the character, which if that power swing will win you the game, then it can be worth it. But it's not a cohort deck, so you can't just 
take that back off the character. No, no. Do you have to be careful of who you're putting that on? Mercenary contract isn't unique, is it? No, it's not. So you can always put it on some of your own characters as well and use that to help stand your own characters and things? Yes. Um, Dragon Skull. Yeah. What does that do again? I like Dragon Skull. It's, it's three cost or uh, Shadow's cost of two. Okay. That's total cost of four. And uh, it, while there are no dragon characters in play, um, the attached character gains renown and intimidate. Nice. Especially yes. if there are no dragons in the deck. Yes. But if your opponent had the dragon, it doesn't work. Ah, oh, that's lame. It can be lame. Uh, I guess he just wouldn't play it if we're against a tar player, right? Yeah, I do like it though. But mm. you, you are if you if you if your opponent has dragon, you either kill the dragons or you get rid of it to a queen guard or something. We've got dragon egg as well. That's the insight one, right? Yes. And that works best of Daenerys. Um, if you want to trigger the reaction on dragon egg, then yes. But if you just want the insight, then it doesn't really matter. I like it just for the insight. Mm. Being able to give insight to something that you've got queen guard on or that you can do multiple challenges with, uh, I think is really good. Yeah, I'm just looking at the characters themselves. I guess there's no insight in any of those characters, is there? No. Yeah, so otherwise your only real draw then is from... You've got a couple of plots that give you draw and then Dragon Gate, I guess? Yep, Dragon Gate. Uh, it's going to be your draw. Gift for the Widow is kind of like draw. And that is the restricted card for the deck. It is, yeah. Because getting any one of those attachments, once you have your Voltron on the board, is great. Hmm. So, of course, your Voltron are going to be Dario Naharis or Cal Drogo. Yeah. The only other three of them in the deck are Captain Grolio, who gained gold for your own locations in Twin Play, or your opponents. Attachments. What did I say? Locations. What a dork. <laughs> <laughs> three freedmen, which are really good to have in your discard pile. Miss mm -hmm. Ande, same, like to be discarded. And Targaryen Loyalist. Yeah, are there many things that cause you to discard cards in hand? I guess Kaholo? Kaholo, he... that is correct. Uh, Queen's Guard is probably your primary source of discard. Yeah. I like the inclusion of um, Strong Bellworth. Yeah, as a two of as well. He's a two of. Um, presumably because he's semi-important on finding one copy in a game to be able to bestow him one and then um, your Voltron will survive a Valar Mugulis mm. because Diana Harris can't wear a bodyguard attachment so he would just die so having Strong Bell was quite good to have on the board with a bestow on him to help stop the Valar Mugulis death um, Quite interesting to point out as well that there's um, a random one of Varys in here to kill an opponent character with power. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit of a random one-off, um, considering it's it, the only non-tar character in the deck. You'd think it'd be quite expensive to play. Yeah. But there are a fair amount of Shadows cards in the deck. You've got um, three Shadow of the East. You also have Queen's Guard and Dragon Skull, uh, as well as Pinch. So they're all Shadows cards. Uh, Egon, Black Market Merchant, John, uh, Connington, John Connington, yep. Drawer. So, so there are quite a few Shadow cards actually available in the deck. Okay. And of course, the Agenda of the Salt. Mm. So you can put any other card in the deck you want and bring it out. Okay. So Varus can be quite cheap. So should be a bit of a, an interesting game, I think. Yeah, I quite like the idea behind this deck. It's not a regular Targa Assault from the Shadows deck, mm. um, but it has a very firm idea of what it wants to do and how it wants to achieve it. Um, Voltron, Dario, Voltron, Drogo, um, and you've got all the attachments there to make it happen. Cool. So um, now we've looked at the deck then. Should we have a look at the actual game itself? Yeah. Awesome. Let's get that on the screen now. Awesome. <laughs> So, I'm on the left then with the Targa Salt deck, you are on the right with the Martel Rose, and we have our setups. So you've set up Gates of the Moon, Jogo, and Captain Grolio. Mm. That's not bad, but I think I might have wanted more than three cards with your kind of deck. There are lots of Shadows cards and quite a few cheap um, characters and locations. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I mulliganed. Um, 
and was a bit sad to find Gates of the Moon in hand because I think we said this deck runs at the gates, isn't it? So yeah. um, you can get a Dragon Gate. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I can get another form of um, economy, but. One important distinction I don't think we touched on. We did say about there's so much economy in the deck, mm. along with some of these down alone, but it is an assault deck. Of course, the downside being you get minus one gold every round. Oh, God, do I remember that? Because I did not know that. <laughs> you did not know that. Well, if I did know that, um, I don't know. I don't feel like I knew that. Did I know that? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> I've set up. Um, right... Summer Seed Port, Dornish Fiefdom, and Card and Shadows. Mm. What is my Card and Shadow? Probably a shrewd diplomat. God, I hate playing Shadows decks. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> uh, which is why I don't remember. They always feel actually... overpowered when they come out and get you at the right time, even mm. though they've paid a significant amount to uh, put them into Shadows and play them. I think my issue is always just, I can't remember what I've got in Shadows. I'm like Dory. It's like, I'll look at the first couple of cards, and by the time I get to the next card, I'll have forgotten what the first card is. Who's Dory? In Finding Nemo. I haven't seen it. Why are you so uneducated? (laughs) I am impressed by the way I just levelled out my power tokens at the top of the board with the top of the white card. So, I like that. That was good. I was thinking about that when I, when we started the game. I was thinking my power token and even that's annoying, <laughs> but I corrected it. Well done. I've got a gate to the moon now. You do. We You've both got have a one. dragon gate with your hat at the gates. So I feel like you've got a slightly better setup there. You've got more economy on the back row. You've got a card in shadows, and you've got the first part of the combo. Although I'm quite happy to have a Grolier on the board. I am quite happy with my economic situation. I admit, I think that will set me well for the rest of the game. Mm. Unless you have a political disaster, which... We do not. When I think of Targa Thought from the Shadows, I don't think political disaster. Pretty sure I spotted a Dawn there, and got House Florent Knight, Dawnish Spy. Yeah, I think there's a lot of options in my hand. This is my hand. So the <coughs> King's Road, Queen's Guard... Kiss of the Widow, Colo. I think that was a Dragon Skull. Yeah, so I don't think you've got as many options. I mean, I've got plenty of different lines of play with the characters available to me. Mm. I think your lines of play are less obvious. I mean, you have Dario and you probably want to go and play Dario, but you can't afford Dario this round because you should be collecting three gold from your plot and... Four gold from the rest of the location? I should have seven gold and I've got eight. (laughs) Have have you cheated the entire game? There is a strong possibility (laughs) that I have cheated the entire game. (laughs) But it is both players' responsibility to maintain the board state. I am so sorry. I'm pretty sure that this is a game that we had to replay as well because the battery just like died at some point. No, it wasn't. No, was that no, a, diff- a different that game? Night's Watch Hollow Hill. Oh, it was. Wasn't Stark it? Faith Militant. <laughs> so this is going to be super awkward because, you know, we have already <laughs> recorded future rounds. In fact, we've recorded the whole thing. So if this deck goes through. <laughs> It's going to be amusing. I am so sorry. Wait, how did you afford Dario? I had a King's Road. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I should have two cards, <laughs> not three. Why Road. didn't you tell me? I've never played Assault. Well, I don't remember playing Assault before. I think you played Assault before. You've clearly forgotten. <laughs> I implicitly trust you and your gold-gaining ways. I've never had reason to think you're a money grabber. <laughs> You've never oh, shown dear. explicit dire to take all of the money. Oh no, this is so embarrassing. God, I hope I remember in future rounds at least. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I feel like you tell me at some point. Oh, black market merchant. What does that do? Um, you look at the top ten cards of your deck, uh, find an attachment, and put it into play. Cool. 
I like that I have to ask what it does when I'm the one that displayed it. I was thinking that exact same thing. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Oh, well. Well, we know it's not going to be Dragon Skull. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though, that, you know, there are previous games where things have not gone quite to plan two. Every round. Um... I don't know that I forget every round. I feel I feel like I vaguely remember you reminding me at some point. Maybe later in the game. Oh no, you see, like you're pointing. You're like, you're not allowed that gold bitch. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, okay, so I don't play this round with an extra gold. So maybe next round you will remember. Maybe. Oh, oh that's I'm really good. glad I did that. <laughs> I'm really glad I did that, because if I spent every round with too much gold, I would be so embarrassed. I mean, it might have been better for me to do that at the beginning of your marshalling, so you can budget your gold better, but I don't think it matters too much, given what has been marshalled. No. So I'm triggering Grolio for gold. Lovely. Yeah. This is a nice board you've got with your At The Gaze turn. Mm. You know, you've got Claim Soak, you've got all of the icons you will need, you've got a good attachment on your Voltron, who's going to be standing up your companions, allies? Yes. Have you got a queen card on him? Yes. That's also very handy. It is. I collect one mountain of gold <laughs> and think, yeah, I've got a reset. I'll just play Dawn out. Keep hand ticking over. It was right or Get left. Because <laughs> right looks left and left looks right. Oh, and they? right is right intriguing. Well, that is true. So right has the intrigue icon. Power left. <laughs> I am power left to stop you. So, yeah, I just called them brothers. I don't think they're brothers. I think they're just dudes. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they are brothers. I think Queen of Thorns just refers to them as left and right. Her bodyguards. Ooh, what have I played there? Gifts for the widow. Gifts, paying one gold to do so. What are you going to find? God knows. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say maybe a mercenary contract or something, but then I realised I don't have any gold. You will do when you trigger Grolia. Ah, uh, yeah! If I remember. I think I was using this opportunity to see what was actually in my deck. I'm pretty sure I'd not looked at my deck at all before this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you say, when you're building eight, 16 decks in a in one sitting just to do a tournament, you don't really remember what's in which deck. Not really. Especially as you did pretty much all the building and I just sort of chilled out and... Uh... <laughs> you sleeve. You helped. Yeah, I think I sleeve. So I, I put down five locations now. Mm. And I only have left and right on the board. It, but you got four goals. So I do have four goals. Blatantly got a trick. Almost definitely a Dornish spy. Yeah, sounds legit. Not enough gold for Hotar. I've put a Mercenary contract on Jogo there. Yeah, that's good because when you win a challenge with Dario, um, you can reach down Jogo. Mm. So you can do the power with Jogo, and then when you win with Dario, you can reach down Jogo and do the military. So it's our option. But I'm going to try and limit some of your options. After all, I don't want left or right to die. Well, why would you do that? I don't know. If I take do Jogo's I... military icon, for example. I don't think I took my gold. No, oh, I took Dario's intrigue. I don't want to lose intrigue. You didn't take your gold. Ah, oh, so actually, instead of being plus a gold, I'm minus a gold. Yeah, you fucked I'm blaming it. you. Fucked it. But you can still stand Jogo because the reason you got the mercenary contract was to give him the trait. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I've taken Dario's um, oh, I've intrigue just icon. Remembered. There you go. Oh, you remembered. <laughs> Sorry, camera. Just hand to the camera twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to win intrigue. I like my hand. I'd rather lose the Dornish spite and military claim. Yeah. So I take Dario's intrigue icon. Yeah, I figure um, right intriguing would do a good job of defending intrigue. Well, actually, it looks like I'm going to lose intrigue now. I'm doing the military with all three. You are. 
But if you go in with an intrigue with Grolia and the Black Market Merchant, that will be for three Two. strength. And Wright can only defend for three strength. Ah. I think I've just taken a Southern Messenger. Oh, I thought you had an option of Southern Messenger or Red Viper and you took Red Viper. Oh, Maybe I just saw it. Yeah, so Dorian Spy dying to claim. And Renown on Dario. I kind of needed to go in with that bigger military because left and right, just non kneeling plus the Dorian Spy. So I need to make sure I could actually win the challenge. Yeah. And yeah, it looks like I want to win that intrigue. Yep, token defense from right. Oh, no. <coughs> I'm not bothering. Oh, yeah, because I was like, there's no point doing an intrigue, because you get a card anyway if I win. Yeah, but you can see my flea bottom pile. Hmm. Not doing an intrigue at you then for three. Shit. Sure. That's always going to happen anyway, because of the non-kneeling nature of left and right. I hate left and right. They're poo heads. Just first snow them, it's fine. Have I got first snow, or is it you that got first snow? You have first snow. I've got first snow. Yeah, but then I lose my Grolio. That's fine, use them in marshalling. You've done a power, but I didn't want to lose it. Well, actually, no, oh yeah, that was it. That was my stupid mistake of this round. So, my other stupid mistake of this round. <laughs> um, so, I should have just token blocked because I forgot that I didn't have any power on my faction card for you to take anyway. So, if I'd have token blocked with the um, the dude at the back, I can't remember what his name is, then I'd have lost the challenge, but you wouldn't have got anything. But because I over defended to make sure I won it, you got the bloody Dawn Trigger. Lovely. Which is stupid, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, Dawn Trigger's nice. Had the yeah. choice of the Prince of Plan and the Red Viper. Ah, oh, maybe it was that turn you got Red Viper. Yeah, I did feel like a bit of a numpty when I realised I didn't actually have any power for you to even take. So on to our next plot choices then. So what do you think in this turn? I mean, I feel like you need to get some characters on the board, really. Yeah, I've got a lot of gold. I'm not too concerned about that. Behest. It's behest time. Mm. Into my exchange. I feel like I want some more options at this point. That's fair. It'd be nice if you could get a full exchange. Um, Shadow of the East isn't going to do too much for you at this point. No. But we did see, when we looked at the deck, I do have two um, Venomous Blades. Venomous Blade can do work again, your Chud, because you want to keep your Voltron protected. That's true. Killing off the Chuds put them at risk. So let's see what the options are then. Mercenary Contract along with Illyria to stay <laughs> King's Road and lots of characters. Oh, well, I'm getting three. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. Mm. Two is bad, four is great, three is acceptable. Yeah, I mean, three is a counting coppers where your opponent gets to choose, but you get an extra gold. Right. Well, what do I give you here? You're not like, not a Sunday, not, not a Chud, not a dupe. <laughs> not Belwas. <laughs> I decide John Connington. Interesting. Yes. Why do you think I decided John Connington? Because I don't have any other cards in Shadows at this point. Um, it wasn't that, actually, although that is a really good point. And also you've got Valador Hyris. Correct. Yeah, I think I'm just playing around with my reset. Um, encourage you to get your bigs out early so I can get rid of them. Rather than stabilise your board with chuds. Mm hmm you played Manning the City Walls. Actually, if I'd have known you got first snow, <laughs> I might not have made <laughs> that choice. So yeah, Manning the City Gates, Walls, whatever's. Half long at night. Mm. Well, even the board up. My current hand. Nice. Got another Grolio. Freedmen. Economy. Yeah, Freedmen would be nice to work with that Queen's Guard. It looks like you are the first player. 
I've got all three Dornish Fiefdom. <laughs> that always happens when I play a Martel player. They get all three out by turn two. Maybe it's just Martel luck. Yeah, I think Martel are the luckiest bastards on the planet. Ah, and you are a bit of a bastard, so you suit the Martel faction. Of course. You're no longer the dogman. Did I tell you all the Martel loyalist? It does feel more and more like you're a Martel loyalist. I mean, you've been playing a lot of Martel. And you was on the Martel Thrones team last year. I was. Maybe I got converted. Maybe. I mean, you were pretty shit in, in the Thrones War. No, I was on but, my uh, learning curve. <laughs> but, you know, it sort of transitioned your way to becoming a Martel loyalist. Loyalist? Yeah. We'll see. Look at you playing Martel. No, I'm even playing Ariane, like a boss. Didn't you have Martel in the um, other bracket as well? Did. There you go. Did I smash it? No, I think you had Martel, didn't you? Did I? Let's consult my memory. It was Connor's deck. One sec. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I did have Martel. All right, I'll let you off then. You're welcome. <laughs> I've still got a shrewd diplomat in shadow, which I showed to the screen earlier. You did? What do you think about that? Um, is that the one that stands and removes someone from a challenge? Correct. Well, then she's a bitch. Well, that's harsh. I don't like that one. I think she's going to come in really handy when it, controlling Dario and which challenge you get to stand Jogo. Exactly. But when is the right time to use it? Military, power, intrigue, whatever. Well, at some point, I'm pretty sure Dario is going to get that noble lineage that's in the deck. Because mm. A, you can either draw it, or B, use the other two gifts for the Widow. But luckily, you haven't seen your Miranese market to, shuffle, well, to put the Widow, gift for the Widow, back on the bottom of the deck. Interesting that with the gift for the Widow, in this instance, the Widow is Dario. <laughs> <coughs> Aww, poor Dario. You never did have much luck. Did How much gold did you collect? Oh, God knows. Six. Six. So you've got one, two, three. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well ah. Done. Oh, my God. I'm so much happier. <laughs> I was so worried that I just spent the entire game with too much gold. <laughs> now, Grolio has a mercenary contract. He does. Did I pay for that? <laughs> I will ice the guy who's the estate. Okay, that's all good. <laughs> Oh, I'm sitting on gold. You're worried about your economic misdeeds. I know. You've got me like on edge now for the entire game. I'm just going to be like, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? <laughs> oh, well. Which see. I'm not thrilled at being the first player. Because, you know, I don't really want to kneel left or right. I'm quite happy to kneel Ariane Martel. Because I can just replace it with somebody else. I was going to say, you don't even have to use left or right, because you can use Ariane, the House of Laurent Knight, and whatever it is that you put in with Ariane, so... Yeah, we know I have options. Mm-hmm. We've seen a Southern Messenger in my hand. Yeah. I assume that I have more than that. Probably. I feel like maybe I saw a bar at some point. Surprise! <laughs> that one is a bar, right? That is a bar. Okay, right. cool. <laughs> I just realised I forgot got the name right. Going in for a military there. Is that for seven? It is for seven. So that to try and force some sort of defence or take your uh, dupe of Grolio for claim. Hmm. I'm assuming you don't know which Valar I run. Oh no, I haven't got a, I haven't got a Scooby. So, Scooby Doo caught me rhyming slang for clue. She doesn't have a clue. Oh yeah, sorry. I probably explain that to the Americans and Australians that are well, watching. Not necessarily, <laughs> but yeah. Do they have that phrase in America? I don't have a Scooby. Probably not, because it's rhyming slang. Scooby Doo rhymed with clue. Yeah. Um, well, there you go. We can educate the... Why are you uh, using rhyming slang anyway? You don't even know any rhyming slang. I know I don't have a Scooby, because I just used it. You're having a tin. Tin bath, laugh. 
I nearly were. I was just working it out. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the old version because now they, the kids say having a bubble. Uh, hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> bubble bath. Laugh. Oh, I was thinking bubble and strife. Wife. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble and strife. It's trouble and strife. I know. <laughs> what trouble? No, I'm bubble now. <laughs> oh my god. Do not take rhyming slang lesson from Rebecca. Oh yeah, really don't. <laughs> so Joe oh, had another attachment which came out with John Connington. What was it? It looked like pinch, but it can't be pinch because I put it on him. <laughs> if not pinch. <laughs> if it might, is pinch, I mean. Might be. I don't know. Could be a dragon skull. We know you had one. Yeah, it could be. So I don't know why, but I completely forgot you had Connington. And it's my own <laughs> fault because <laughs> I gave him to you. You're an absolute dog. Yes, I am. Can't you just stand and remove someone with the shrewd diplomat? I can. But am I going to? No, I'm going to Trigger Dawn, Summer Seaport, or House Lawn Night. Don't have any Palace of Sorrows in the deck. But I take the half one night anyway. At this point, I can discard a duplicate from Grolio next round. I mean, that seems good. It does, yeah. That could be useful if you play first snow. Mm. Because you think, oh, I'll save with the dupe, and then I Ariane into the half long night, get rid of your Grolio completely. So I decided to fully defend the military, and winning it, I get the renown on both characters. Um, I don't know if you're going to bother now with the power. Oh, no, you've done a power, haven't you? It's the intrigue you've not done. So I'm going to discard the freedmen to stand up Dario. I mean, I should really do the power first with Jogo here, right? Ah. Yes. So you can uh, restand after doing the intrigue with Dario? Yeah, it's my thought. Oh, look at that. You've done the zero cost gifts nice. play for Noble Lineage. That seems alright. It makes your options a lot better, and now you can, you can do all three challenges with him. Only thing he needs now is a dragon egg, because what that would do, you get a card every time you win a challenge with him, and then you can use that card to stand him. Mm, yeah, that's true. So it basically fuels your own queen's card. So, what am I going to go for? I was going to say, it'd be good to do it with both of them, just in case you've got a trick. Because you do have a bar on the board and you do have a card in shadows. You might as well, you can stand both of them. Mm. And power's how you win games, right? Not necessarily. If you're a Martel player, you have to be conniving. Sneaky. Is that why you like Martel suddenly? Intriguing. Because you're conniving and sneaky? No, because I'm a snake. Can I put in the picture of you and your snake like shirt and shorts no, for Thrones no, 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 no. What time are we at? No, we don't do that. We, we don't, don't do that? that? We don't do that. Oh. Hell no. Hell no. I'm wearing pretty, shorts and my legs are white. Anyway. I'm pretty sure, guys, we can find it online somewhere. <laughs> Flea Bottom and the House Dane Escort. Oh, just message me. So there's nothing in the <laughs> discard pile. So I take the Flea Bottom. <laughs> I see you craning your neck. You can't see any more of the screen. I, I was like trying to see behind, like around to see your handball. And I was like, this is a camera. I'm not going to be able to see anything. You are very special. I, I'm a very special, special person. She's special. Yeah. But look, Jogo's got renown. Uh, it's a dragon skull. And you're intimidating me. Mm. So I'm doing an intrigue with Grolio. That looks like... Oh, okay. Picasso bestowed. Interesting play, Richard. Means you can defend the intrigue. Do you win it? I guess so. I do. Rakata three strength. Ah, I thought it was two for some reason. And then I'm trying... Am I trying the military? 
Oh, at the moment I win Dom, so... Ah, oh, I forgot my Freedman. Dork. Dork. Do that irritated little hand... <laughs> hand shake. Yeah, you know when I've forgotten something? Because you see me do basically like different versions of jazz hands. <laughs> so, uh, military with Jogo then. You're defending non-kneeling with uh, left. I still win. You get to draw Doors, a card. Spy and what was the other? The one that you took. <laughs> um, and I've decided to pay the gold to restand Jogo using my Mesno contract. And you've claimed the house for at night. Did I win by enough to kneel him? Yes. Ah, oh, I think that means I win Dom as well then. Look at that, smashing it. Oh yeah. And Trigon, a Dragon Gate for cards. Yeah, I feel like I need more cards. Yeah, you need a gift for the Widow for that Dragon Egg, or to draw the Dragon Egg. Hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've, it's not that like I've not been drawing cards, but I just I just feel like I want more options. Well, even at the board that I currently stand, you're looking good. Yeah! Well, it does look like a nice Valor de Harris could... You know, bring you back down to two characters. No. You're going to lose a, a, you know, a significant amount of power. At least three power you will lose. Mm, and my sad. board will remain the same. So, I can't remember if it's because I've got too many cards in hand or what, but I decide to um, restand Dario with the Queen's, Queen's Guard um, and discarding Sajora, so he just goes straight into Shadows. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I could have just done that next turn. When I actually needed him to do it, because I was going to win Dom anyway. So I feel like maybe I should have saved it. Yeah, that is true. You've discarded Southern Messenger. Yeah. Probably knowing you have Flea Bottom in hand. Yes. So, makes sense. So, I think I should play Valar de Harris here. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm on eight power to your one. Yeah, I, it's I think very close. Wanna... I mean, seven power is quite doable when you've got two characters on there with Renown. Three characters three. with Renown. Yeah. yeah, I think I almost definitely have to play VD here. Yeah, because, like, like you say, three of them have got Renown, if and I... two of them can be used at least twice. If I could, if I felt like I could last this round, I probably would stretch it out, but I don't think I can. Mm. Yeah, I think it'd be extremely risky to try and go another round without resetting. If only I only had a dragon character in my deck. <laughs> you know what, I generally just check to see if you're a Martel Rose or Martel Dragon then. <laughs> what are you going to play? Yep, a good counter for you. Yeah, I thought you might play the Valar... Well, I thought you might play a reset. I wasn't sure what your reset was. Um, More Grealis would have been sad for both of us. <laughs> yeah, I'd have got... Grolio. <laughs> but the thing is, you've got more cards in hand. So you've got more choices when it comes to the reset. Whereas I have a lot fewer. Um, I think the choice is obvious for me to keep Grolio and Dario. As the deck is supposed to be a Voltron Dario deck. And Grolio is helping me with the economy. And it means I get those um, attachments back as well. You do. That's a good bit about it for you. You can now spread your attachment back onto Dario. Mm. Uh, I make you first, which is good. I have a water garden and a house dane escort with my draw. Water garden is good, it means I can plunk it down and get an immediate benefit of two extra resources. Two? Yeah, because I pay one for the water garden. Mm. And then it can be reduced by three. Does it Rakasso add to it? Oh shit. I hope I remember that. <laughs> so you can you can get a reduction of five rewards gardens at the moment, right? Yeah, to be yeah. fair, aside from Dawn, I think the highest thing I can get a reduction on is Venomous Blade and or Starfall. Mm. So it's going to be three either way. Fair enough. Dare mm. I do the gold count? How much gold did I take? Nine, ten, eleven. Ah, oh, I'm on the ball. I've not spent any right. No, cool. I'm on the ball. Oh. Well done. You have made it 31 years through life and you can count up to 11. Thanks for telling everyone my age, honey. 41. 
You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're not approaching 40. Hey, hon. You are literally approaching 40 with every second that passes. Not as close as you are. <laughs> <laughs> God, we're old. Yeah, I know, right? Do you think we're too old to be doing videos like this? Nah. Do you think people watch the video and go, oh my God, those guys are so old. They think they know what they're talking about. They're not cool. I mean, we've, we've never been cool, to be fair. I know, but... I mean, look at how you started the video. <laughs> yeah, but you're, delete- you're going to delete that, right? Yeah, sure. Well, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now you're going to have to delete this bit. We're going to have to cut it. And... Oh, I feel like that's just far too much effort. We should just leave it as it is. Oh, whatever. So, I've now some fiefdoms. <laughs> Oh, another card in shadows. Mm-hmm. Look how much gold you've got, and you've not actually collected your gold yet. <laughs> I'm wearing my lab thracky t shirt. You are? You're wearing it now as well. I <laughs> know. <laughs> you, you know why? Because I wear it, you wash it, it goes back to the laundry pile in my wardrobe, and instead of putting them away, I just put them in a pile in the wardrobe, and then I pick up the top shirt out, and it's that again. <laughs> <laughs> so it constantly gets used. I do love the fact that sometimes you just go into a shop where you're wearing a t-shirt that says Lathraki with an image of Carl Drogo with wearing a Daenerys wig holding a pint of beer and a kebab and on the back you've got Carl Brogo. Yeah, I'm a bro. <laughs> you know what we were saying about being cool, honey? <laughs> yeah, I'm approaching 40 wearing a Lathraki shirt. <laughs> Midlife crisis or what? <laughs> Aww. As I recall, I went 4-0 at that tournament, so screw you. Yeah, didn't you, like, kind of win it? No, I dropped. Oh, yeah, you dropped. You were like, I can't go winning a tournament on your birthday. <laughs> yeah, all these people travel to our house to play a tournament. Let them play in the cup. Aww, such a good host. Rosewood. Is that where you did the barbecue? Woods Gardens? Yeah. No, for flea bottom. That's lame. Yeah, well, not as lame as your turn's going to be. Not as lame as your face. TRV. And I've still got loads of gold. I feel like uh, I should play my reset. <laughs> I still haven't used my shrewd diplomat. You have not. But you can't afford it this turn. Saving that for a vital round. Great. Look, I was on eight, got eight power earlier and you've knocked me down to five. Oh, so sad. Yeah. I liked it before. I was smashing you. Well, it looks like I have the upper hand now. I've got three cars in shadows and shitloads of gold. True. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> I've got the Red Viper. What are you going to do about it? Cry. <laughs> My Duran's game will get me five power at this stage. Ugh. And I have a Southern Messenger for Flea Bomb. If only you didn't have that damn noble lineage. That Dario would be bye bye. Yeah. I'd get him somehow. Yeah. Must have a, a Dawn spine hand to take his second icon. Oh, don't messenger like bounce. Oh, I'm going to try a power of Dario. Because, you know, power wins games, right? Surely I should defend this. Oh, he doesn't have... Did you put the dragon skull on him? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Maybe? Maybe not? By the way, I don't think I want to run the risk of you bringing it out of shadows and intimidating my boars. That could be fun. So I'm going to defend with... left? At the very least? Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to defend with left. It's just whether or not you put extra people in, isn't it? Yeah, do I want to win it? I think I should want to win it. I do, I don't. I do, I don't. <laughs> I can't remember if I've got Pinch in Shadows or not. Let's see. Pinch is a consideration I never play around. And I should. <laughs> yeah, you should. You taught me that I need to play around Pinch. Defend it for 10. Oh. I'm not getting pinch off if it isn't there. Would have liked to uh, get a Viper reaction this round, but I guess at the end of the day, winning challenge would be more important. I 
I mean, you could have just let me win the power challenge. I wouldn't have minded. Instead, you're making me do more math, which is just mean. Gotta love math. Has the Arsenal game finished yet? Yeah, we won 2 0, smashed it, we're in the final. Nice! Happy days. Get wrecked, Man City. <laughs> So we've got another Freedman in discard pile there to restand Dario. <coughs> ah, maybe one day you will trigger them. <laughs> maybe. But today is not that day. Yeah, I think Comedito is a good choice. Because if I want to win it, I have to use the Ariane, which means I will not use her in a challenge. Mm -hmm. So the Messenger won't do anything. And you can't afford the Shrewd Diplomat this turn, unless you've got a Iron Bank, which I'm pretty sure you weren't running. I agree. There was only two Durand game and two printed plan. Ah, that was it. So, can't afford that either. You can use Ariane to Dornish Spy. Oh. Get rid of the Intrigue icon. So yeah, I guess you were trying to wait for me to put out a Shadows character that only had one icon, well, two icons even, so that you could Dornish spy them and then um, get rid of them with the Southern Messenger. Um, but you obviously felt that it was more important to defend the military with your left, right and the uh, Dornish spy to stop me from winning a challenge with Dario. So that's two challenges now you've fully defended against my Dario. So I think I can win the intrigue against Dario alone, but not with against Dario and Grolio. Because I could sell the messenger in for an extra body and defend for eight. Grolio and Dario will be eight. But as Dario no longer has an intrigue icon, you don't even have to worry about that. Bloody hell. It's almost like you've been watching the game. I know. What's going on? It's almost like I played it and watched it. Although we did play this game like three weeks ago now. <laughs> so I've used my Dragon Gate there. Was it last weekend? I think this game was at least two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, because I think we played Bracket 2 in some random order. <laughs> and then I think we did all of Bracket 2 and then Bracket 1 and did all of Bracket 1 and then did the final. Seemed legit. So that's anyway. 15 games, so. <laughs> 15 games? We've never played so much Thrones. Oh, yeah, we have. When we were playing Thrones. <laughs> when, when we were active participants of the game and the world wasn't on a giant lockdown. That is true. Yeah, we haven't played a lot since Worlds. I think we said before in video, decision-making definitely got worse. Or at least my decision-making has gotten worse. Fortunately for me, mine's always been terrible, or at least terribly slow. So, uh, yeah, not much uh, different from the usual. You can see that I'm having to look at my Shadows cards five million times each, because I can't remember they all do. <laughs> the jaw. Yep. And decided to defend there. And just kill him. Wow. Ouch, brutal. Not even a Grolio dupe to save. You are cold. Yeah. Do I have Valardy as well? I do not recall. I feel like I do. Maybe it's because I'm planning on resetting. Not resetting. Well, resetting. I've got rid of your Grolio dupe with the Southern Messenger. Ah, maybe that's why I did it, because I was suspecting that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I feel like that's a really clever thing to do, so I'm going to go with that, because um, it probably isn't. <laughs> so I've got a left and a flea bottom. don't so think I need right? either, but I think I'll take the dupe. The character. Yeah, because um, my board looks weak to Morvillis. Hmm. What reset do you have? Uh, I don't know, because my phone just died and I tried to check. Bounce. Yeah. Obviously using my phone too much today. I imagine it's definitely not Morgulis if you're running Bellwoods. Yeah. Yeah, if you're that worried about the reset, hurts. you'd hardly play one yourself. That mm. would kill all characters. 
I think it was first known to Hyrus. You can always check on yours. Either, yeah. No. Look at you, defending challenges, getting renowned, triggering Dawn me. Well, yeah, but that's because he didn't let me win on your attack, so I had to win someone defence. <laughs> I also yeah. didn't want to win too many challenges because I've obviously got late summer feast, yeah. and you're already drawing like two. Well, that would mean you're drawing two cards every time you lose a challenge, so. And with my extra reserve boost, look at all that economy I have. I know, it's insane. I've got plus. Plus four gold modifiers. I can get another six if I'm the second player. And I have a water garden, which is going to give me a discount of six. So basically what we're saying is you need more gold in the stack. Martel OP. <laughs> I do think the water, the water garden is absolutely stupid card. You think? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think it's crazy. So I've gone for the Valardy. Um, into your marched. That's cool. I can get something in the uh, flea bottom pile. Yeah, I um. Oh, actually, or I'd really like to have gone first here because then I would have done VD and then marched. marched. But you've gone first and done marched first and then VD because that way you get to keep your board. Yeah, but I don't think I need a board that big. I think I, I might have been better served putting um, Southern, not Southern Messenger, Dawn Dawnish spy. spy, Marching the Spy, putting the Viper on the bottom of the deck. Because... Mm. The Spy coming into play does more work for you, doesn't it, really? Yeah. So you have the House Dane Escort in there. Um, but, I mean, he's one that you can marshal if you really wanted to. Mm. And also, he doesn't have very cool coming into play effects, whereas the Dawnish Spy would have at least been able to do some work for you. So you might have been better doing it that way around. A dupe. That's now that we know that you have first snow, that seems even better. Yeah. Are you sure I've got first snow? <laughs> well, you're definitely going to play it next round, maybe. Oh, I would hope so, right? Look at this board. Although, the games are timed. So, if this is the last round, then... Um, I might not even get the chance to. That is true. Oh, first player and host of the bone way. They've got intimidate, right? They do. That sucks. But I'm seven one down. Not sure I'm gonna have time to get loads of power unless I have it to end the game as well. I mean this doesn't look great. Host of the bone way are plus six strengths. <laughs> look at you double duping. Plus six. Yeah, cause I'm double duping because I know I have a reserve of seven. I'm thinking, how many challenges am I going to lose? Or how many <laughs> dawn triggers am I going to get? Maybe I need to go down to five. <laughs> You're not going to lose anything. Look. Look at your board compared to mine. I go. It's not even a summer plot. Yeah, that seems inefficient. I guess my options weren't great. I think it'd be really good in this type of deck if you ran it all out of summer plots. You know, if you ran Targ Kings of Summer with the attachment sort of module with the merchant and stuff. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Bell with no bestow. Yeah. You're not scared of Morgulists? Apparently not. I guess I just needed characters on the board. If you did bestow one, you could say. Yeah. I don't have any gold left. Suck up the claim. I don't have enough gold to do that. I see this. Um. If only you ignored your agenda for one round. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little bit fucked here. Yeah. It's not looking great. Especially when I am the first player with Intimidate. Mm. I mean, if we get to another round, I might be able to pull it back if I play the first snow but I mean now you've got double dupe on left and the big dudes so I think I'll go in with the green challenge first 
If you've got Duran's game, maybe, because there's you'd get six power, right? Okay, I figure at the moment I'm going in for an intrigue for what appears to be ten. Oh, oh ten. Are they four strength normally? Yeah. Oh, okay. And so, if you defend with both of them, that is also ten. So you would need to play a strength buff. Doesn't Dario have a tow car on him? Does he? Maybe? I feel like I've definitely seen a tow car at some point during the game. Why did I stand him? That's such a bad idea. Well, it's not like you're familiar with the deck. Yeah. I think I think I must have a tow car on him, and I must have thought that I was going to win the game. Uh, well, win the challenge. Sorry. Yeah. Um. But you, Prince. Prince, you plan to give him a power icon and plus six strength. Yeah. Yeah. Put me to sixteen. Which is a bit annoying because it means that you discard the last card from my hand, which means I can't even restand Dario. <laughs> so you win by enough to kneel him. That doesn't seem. That doesn't seem right. Ah, uh, he he can't have a tow car, but I must have wanted to print his plan for the extra um, six strength so I could kneel him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it works. So you're just basically going to get like unopposed challenges and shit now. So you're doing a military, I might as well defend my Belwurst. Yeah. And then just kill him, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all gone horribly wrong. Yeah, I started so well. Martell have done Martell things. The long so, game. Yeah, it seems like your your deck has sort of run out of puff. You know, you've got a big dude out there, three icons, some attachment, but even so, I'm still able to win challenges on defence and stop him mm. with the left and right helping, certainly. Well, I've managed to hang in around. So, it looks like this is probably going to be the last round then. Yeah, with over an hour on the video. Yeah, but when we had the... I do recall. ...bit at the yeah. beginning. Oh, okay, I've gone win or die. That's interesting. No maybe... snow. That is... Yeah. Maybe I should have played snow. I think I played win or die because I was... I thought I needed to just push through and... Get far enough ahead, maybe? Yeah, get this round out of the way. Yeah. Either I don't have a Duran game yet, or I'm just playing it so bold. <laughs> oh, and also, I didn't have any cards in hand, so maybe I needed to draw cards. That is very true. Well, I don't look particularly pleased with what I've got. <laughs> really mack it. Okay, if I've actually paid for that, then it can't be great. Oh dear. Really, that bad? Please tell me I'm going to use the King's Road for something good. Cow Dragon? That would be nice. I don't think it would be Don't know. Anything. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it would be. So now might be handy, but... I need enough strength to push something through, though, don't I? That's the thing. True. Again, non-kneeling left and right, that's easier said than it is done. Hmm. Oh dear. Wow. That's not so good. In that case, I should have just kept those cards in hand, I think, and used them to restand Dario with the Queen's Guard. True. Don't seem to have a trick in Shadows. In me? Yeah. Well, I've got three cards in Shadows, so. I'm glad I gave you John Connington early now and Valardied him. <laughs> Thanks, thanks. And the red viper's back. El Vipre. Oh god, I'm so screwed. Look how much gold you still got. You can afford Ariane and have enough gold left for your true diplomat. Yeah, well, I'm going to do Picasso. Just in case, you know, on the slim chance that you run something like, you know, first snow. <laughs> Might as well filter my deck a bit. Great. Hmm. 
do mine as well. <laughs> that's no useless. Just as well you didn't play oh. it, because that would have been terrible. Oh yeah, that's a good point, actually, because the first note would have happened after all these dupes came out, and then I would have been really annoyed. <laughs> you would have been incandescent think, with rage. I know, I was going to say, I'd be just raging about it. <laughs> And you'll see. Raging as much as I was at the end of the last video. <laughs> that was so funny. You were having such a sulk. <laughs> Look at the state of your bloody board, though. Honestly, what am I meant to push through on that? Nothing. You're supposed to just concede. I'm not going to concede. I don't know the meaning of the word, which is something that I'm sure most viewers would quite happily believe. <laughs> oh, look. Diplomat. <laughs> Yay! At least he stands. Yeah, but you no longer have a challenge. So, yeah. let's go again. It's okay. It's not like the uh, power challenge would be at all important at this point in the game. Military, because that's going to be useful. Maybe I could uh, save with a dupe of left. <laughs> I've got two claim. Dupe of left and a dupe of right. Yeah, maybe. Or to kill the Green Blood Trader. Or, or just defend with everyone. Or just defend it with by nearing one character. <laughs> Great. Come on, tell me I've got a trick. I can't actually remember how this game ends, so I can remember how it ends. With well, my rousing victory, I'm sure. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> Ooh, a time oh Oh yeah. Go on, Bex, you show him. Wow. Oh, I'm just going to nail my water garden. Oh, God. Why, what have you got? You got another prince's plan. You've got a venomous blade. <laughs> you duty head. Forced me to use all my tricks. Oh. Coholo. Coholo. Yo. <laughs> I thought it was Magister Olivia. Yo. Oh, and I'm a Sunday. Oh, yeah. Pulling out the big guns. Well, that worked out nicely. It did. I mean, you now just get three and pose challenges when we're back, pretty much, but... <laughs> nah, now I'm like, yeah, Prince's Plan, I win anyway. <laughs> I think you actually get Prince's Plan back, though, don't you, if you lose a challenge? I do. Great. 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 So, so you know, just... thanks for that. Yeah, because that military challenge was really important as well. I can see why you wanted yeah. to intimidate, perhaps, my green blood trader. <laughs> yeah. Am I considering doing something else to stop it? I don't know. It looks like you're sort of thinking about doing an action, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know why you'd be so bothered about... Oh, it's because I'm going to steal your Acaso! Ah! This seems good! Oh yeah, back in the game. Get my printed plan back. Ugh. Yeah, you can do a military at me. Guess who I'm claiming? I'll save with the dupe. I'll refuse. <laughs> you can't do that, Rebecca. That's not the rules of the game. <laughs> oh. Hey, at least you got yourself another power icon. I've already done my power challenge. On defence. I can't even chump an intrigue at you because if you just win on defence by lots then you'd run game it <laughs> well I'll do that on attack mm. and trigger the red viper well what I mean is I can't just chump an intrigue I'd have to like put proper effort into it proper effort props effort not just a little bit of effort but proper effort yeah So I've got just enough to nail out your right. And I get right down. Woo! You mean he had a dragon goal? No, it's Dario. Yeah, he didn't have Intimidate, does he? What? Kaholo was in the challenge. Oh my god. He's got Intimidate. Oh, I'm so tired Pay right attention. Now. Let's be fair, it's like gone 10. Wow, yeah. That's super late. Mm. But then, I've been sleeping most of the day. You have had a lot of naps today. <laughs> Aww. 
Getting ready for when we can't sleep at all, eh? <laughs> Might as well get to sleep in now. Yeah. Didn't mind challenges yet? Uh, I think so. Waiting for the banter all in green. <laughs> Gonna trigger a bar. Emissary of the High Tower. Does that do again? Uh, I can name an event in my discard pile. I can play that event as if it's in my hand. You don't have any events in your discard pile. I know, but I needed the body. You're doing an intrigue challenge. Yeah. What's your point? I'm just, I'm just like commenting. Still got enough to win a power by two, right? Oh, you're doing super defense. Well, I think you've got Durant's game, so. Yeah, I've also got a plan. I'm sure. Thing is, though, by defending with everyone, I may have stopped the Durant's game, possibly. But now you just do a power charge. <laughs> yep. I don't have any. Uh, is that a card? Is that last card a card in hand? Or is that a shadow's card? I think it's a card in hand. If it's got in hand, that's all right, because it means I get to stand up my Dario and defend the power, at least. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it is Shadows. Maybe it's a card in hand that I just forgot, because I'm a dork. That seems legit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'll say with the dupe, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> grumble, grumble. <laughs> Oh, killing Kahala. It's the last round. Sweet. That's it. Smashed it. So you win. Smashed it. 9-5. I was going to win anyway, right? <laughs> I mean, first no. Wasn't really going to hurt my board. So let's have a little look then um, at the pros and cons of the deck. Okay. First up, we have the Marta Rose deck by Rob Wilkie. Um, so there's quite a lot that we liked about the deck. Uh, we liked that, um, you know, the deck's sort of built around having Duran's game and being able to control the game until you're in that sort of position to be able to play uh, the event. Duran's game is only a two of, but you don't want to see it early on anyway. Um, you're quite happy to sit a little bit later in the game um, when you're going to be able to get a bit more use out of it. Yeah, I don't think it's just the Duran game deck. It's just a deck that likes to play and get stronger as the rounds go on. Mm. Which, of course, Durand game helped with the power total. But you also have the Red Viper. And I think generally in the game that we just saw, I think the deck is in a strong position going forward into, you know, even the plots mm. went round again. I think the deck had taken control at that point. Yeah, I mean, I think once he got left and right out as well, um, I wasn't really sure about the Rose agenda. I wasn't sure if it was doing enough um, when Martel have got so many options anyway. Um, but certainly in this particular game, left and right were an absolute pain in the ass, um, and meant that you know I might have been trying to build up a um, Voltron deck, but my Voltron Dario wasn't quite enough to just get past a non kneeling left and right each turn, which was sad. Um, there's lots of options in the deck for like control and whatnot. Um, you've got the nice big um, strength boosts in Prince's plan uh, for sort of surprise strength in icons to win challenges, um, which you did a few times. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Handy. Yeah. Um, the the thing that I wasn't so sure about with the deck was uh, the flea bottom, as mentioned at the beginning. Um, so because the flea bottom is the restricted card in this deck. Um, you kind of feel that like there should be a few more sort of flea bottom centered um, interactions maybe in in the cards that are going on. And although there are a nice lot of cards that are sort of three cost and under that come into the deck and will actually um, so come into the game from flea bottom and actually be able to do things um, if they enter through the flea bottom pile, trying to get stuff in the flea bottom pile is the a slight issue um, with with this deck. So, for example, you've only got one March to the Wall, 
And that's the only thing in the plot deck that really gets something into the discard pile. Yep. Um, and also, because your deck um, does have a really heavy base of Intrigue icons, we're still on the charts at the beginning of the game, they do have really strong intri Intrigue. Um, so you're less likely to be losing those Intrigue challenges. Um, so less likely to have things accidentally put into that discard pile for you. Yeah, and you don't want to play You Win or You Die early, really. Mm. So you can throw some of your three-cost characters in the bin. Um, so I guess the best thing, well, the, the first thing that we thought of was maybe a top loan from the Iron Bank for Fallen from Favour. Um, it gives you quite a lot of gold, help to fuel your bleed bottom tricks, mm. and it's quite a good reserve as well. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. Good initiative helps you go second, whereas <laughs> loan doesn't. Yeah, which is important for the fiefdom. And I guess loan also is um, affecting the deck later throughout the game as well. Whereas falling from favour is just that one off that you need to worry about. Um, we did also notice that the uh, house want knights. Um, weren't necessarily very well supported in the deck. Um, there's no way really to ensure that you're going to be able to hit a character you want to hit. Yeah, there's um, no Palace of Sorrows or anything like that. No. So it literally is a case of getting rid of um, your opponent's low strength characters. Yeah. Which worked in this game. Yeah. I mean, the only other thing I wondered with the House of Not Knights, I don't know if it was deliberate, um, but the House of Not Knights can be used on your own small characters if you want to chuck, for example, Green Blood Trader into the discard pile. Um, and then flea bottom it in, you get to that trigger again. So I, I don't know if it was intended that way, um, but it might be that, you know, being able to trigger on your own characters Pretty is also... expensive something. trigger, right? Yeah, a little bit. But it's an option. All right, do you want to look at the tug? Sounds like a plan. Okay. So the tug assault deck then, um, Warren Tech's deck. I, th I think the first thing I'd like to say is it was quite nice hearing people's opinions about the deck and being like, oh, Targ Assault, it's going to be a typical Targ Assault and, you know, it's going to storm through and be annoying and horrible and whatnot. Oh, yeah. um, so it's quite nice, actually, that this isn't just your bog-standard Targ Assault deck. Um, I quite like the idea of, like, a Voltron Dario and, you know, sort of sticking all the sort of random attachments on him. You don't really... You don't necessarily see Dragon's Egg and well, Dragon's Egg. Well, they're not decks. random attachments, are well, not they? Not random, no. Not random. Not random. They're very well thought out. Well, they are. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just waffling. You know me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go on, get on with it. Um, so it's nice seeing attachments that you don't see as often, maybe, um, mm. being used um, to help sort of support that Voltron Dario. And, um, you know, it's, it's relatively straightforward to get him going. Um, if you can get your gift to the Widow... We use a black market merchant. Um, it means that you're going to be able to sort of go and find those attachments you want to put on him. Mercenary contracts are quite nice, either to support your own characters um, or to possibly um, turn key characters on your opponent's side into mercenaries and steal them. That works, yeah. right? Yeah, for the yeah. round. Works There's no the round. bribery in the deck, so no. you can't keep them permanently. But sometimes the one round swing can win you the game. Hell, if my opponent's got six power on a Balon or something and I make him a mercenary and steal him and win the game, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, that works. <laughs> um, and if you don't get Dario working, you do have the option of Carl Drogo as well. Um, and the nice thing about both of these characters is with there being Noble Linja in the deck and because of Carl Drogo's text, um, it means that either of these characters could potentially be able to be um, participating in three um, attacks if they've got the Queen's Guard on them. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Yeah. It's even better if they have dragon eggs, right? So you can get insight for them, which fuels your queen guard. Or dragon skull, so you can intimidate your opponent. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, so lots of econ in the deck. Plenty mm -hmm. of economic location. Uh, Grolio triggers quite a lot. Uh, late Summer Feast on loan, of course. And you also have some tempo uh, for your black market merchant. You do pay four overall for it, but you do get a small body and an attachment in play uh, for free. So sometimes that works. It's a nice surprise as well. Uh, John Connington can bring in any other card. It could be a Black Market Merchant, Merchant, Egon, Jora, whatever. So there's a couple of tempo plays you can do, including Freedmen and Miss Sunday. Mm. 
Sunday, that good old card that every tar player loves. <laughs> They're pretty nice, especially with the first snow combination, because if you can get them onto the board, uh, the three men jump them in one round, then first snow them back to your hands, you can use them again for another discard, mm. and then win the challenge kind of thing. Yeah. So that works. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think in general we really liked this deck. Um, there wasn't much that we weren't so sure about. Um, I think we were saying maybe Aggo doesn't quite fit um, because there's only two summer plots. Um, yeah, I get the point. You can you can make him a Voltron with the Dragon Sky. You can give him Intimidating and now You can give him Insight with the Dragon Egg. You can give him a Power Icon with uh, the Noble Lineage. Mm. Um, he, you know, it just seems like a lot more effort and less upside because he doesn't have any positive keyword. I think he was only one of as well. Yeah, so. he was, yeah. And then also the Varus um, just just seems a little bit out of place. You um, think that? Yeah, I do. I don't necessarily think that. I think it's quite good. Mm, all right. I like it. Don't you hear me? I think, I think I'd like an extra egg on instead. All right. To go and grab like a Dario dupe or something that supports Dario. I'm pretty sure one's going to agree with me, so. Um, he probably will. <laughs> Um, and then the only other thing was it kind of ran out of puff a little bit the deck. Um, I don't know if that's just me playing it poorly, but basically tr trying to sort of push through those challenges. If you don't manage to push through, I think, a little bit more quickly, your opponent can sort of build up their board and make it a bit more difficult for you to push through. Yeah, I think that might have just been the left and right conundrum. The mm. fact that non-kneeling icons and I had a big enough board, so at that point I could just put characters onto the board and you couldn't. Yeah, I probably should have played the first snow a bit sooner, I think. Yeah. So we'll just um, round up then, unless you had anything else you wanted to put in. No. Nah. No? Cool. So um, thanks always for watching the game. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash the White Walkers. And we will be back with game uh, eight, eight uh, which is the last game of the Swiss yeah. and the last game of bracket two. It is. As soon as we can. Yes. Cool. Bye. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. 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 Bye